Right guys, Mark Crossford here, and today we're looking at the Ping I-Series irons, E1. Um, so this is the new kind of middle range iron, if you like, so not their most friendly and certainly not their most um, kind of bladed iron, if you like, not that they make that one. So this is that really kind of middle bracket iron, Ping I-Series E1. Let's see what they're all about. Let's get stuck in. Right guys, Ping I-Series E1, 431 stainless steel head is what Ping is saying, which is gonna deliver a softer feel. It's also very strong to deliver consistent kind of ball speeds and what have you across the face. We get a little weight port at the bottom here, little bar which sits a bit more on the face. Some of them more game improvement ones sits off the face. Um, you get a nice perimeter weighting. Again, that 431 stainless steel, I think, allows them to move that perimeter, per, perimeter weighting around a bit more because of the makeup of that steel. Um, it's got a very gaming, kind of nice, narrow, thin top line. You don't see any of the club out the back. A little bit of progressive offset. So if I've got the four iron in my hand here, much more offset than you're getting down on the wedges and this one a six iron so there's a progressive offset to try and help you in the longer irons and you're getting plenty of help around the outside but you're getting it in that real kind of gaming bracket um, the lofts and the lengths are all maximized for gapping and shaping which is all the marketing spiel really i don't know any sets of clubs where that's particularly an issue um, but and you get kind of a medium thinner sole which is always going to glide through the grass is what they say um, let's give them a hit see what they feel i've got some data as well from my gc2 hmt pro v1x balls it's kind of the 431 steel is what's really exciting ping with this one uh, let's give it a hit see what it feels like Right, let's see what these I-series feel like. Certainly down by the ball, it's a short, a lovely little blade length, nice fin top line. It's a real gaming iron, if you want to call it that. So it's a kind of, you know, good players who want a bit of help are going to pick that up and think, yeah, I want to hit that. And I think handicap golfers as well who aspire to that better looking iron will put that down and think, oh yeah, that's really what I want to look at. Might not always be the best for them performance, but if it plays into what they feel and what they want to look like that's as important as anything else to a certain extent let's see what it feels like then so this is the six iron it's got next to no offset which does look nice yeah it's a much truer sound it's a lovely actually i mean that doesn't i think you blind tested that i don't think you'd tell the difference between the forge police to the cast police would struggle to tell the difference between those two. Um, that sound does make me feel like it's soft and controllable and it's not coming off like a rocket, all those kind of cliche words that we all use when looking at clubs. I caught that one slightly out the bottom, but it's still moving out there nicely. And that's what I would like about this club is it is going to offer you a bit of help across the bag. Four iron is not a club I carry anymore. I use a hybrid instead. Um, so I put this four iron down by the ball and it does worry me. <laughs> Let's give it a hit. I just don't think I would ever really stop it on many greens, particularly like a can of hybrid. But I mean, it's a, as four irons go, it's a little bit more offset and it looks nice. Ah, hit that fine. I can hit a four iron, no problem. It's more just trying to get it to stop the other end is always um, why I wouldn't really, that's why I don't use a four iron anymore. I'm just gonna go down to the wedge here as well because I've got a wedge. Obviously when you get into these kind of irons, people do want certain clubs like the wedges and what have you to look certain ways. I mean, that's a very nice wedge. It kind of blends into the glide wedges, Ping is saying, which I can totally see. That's very similar shaping. I think the set actually, don't quote me on this one, I'm pretty sure it stops at the wedge because they want you to go into their glide wedges um, in the short irons. That is a very, very nice looking wedge from a set. Yeah, it feels lovely. I mean, it's, yeah, I, I can't imagine Ping ever going wrong with their I series. I can, I can tell who it appeals to. You know, that better player who wants a bit of help and even the higher handicapper who wants to kind of delve down into that better player club. Um, and I don't think you could really do much better than ping with that. And that is uh, a very gameable short iron, which was always something that would sell a set of clubs to me as well. Yeah, that just feels lovely. Absolutely lovely. Okay, let's look at some numbers then. Let's see how it's actually performing. Is it giving me the numbers I would uh, want to actually get out there and put them in my bag. Certainly looking wise, they do everything I'd want them to do um, for this kind of bracket of iron. 
Right, so let's take a look at the numbers. I was using a six iron, um, so I'm looking at 170 carry, which is where my six iron sits, exactly where I'd want it to go. Peaking height at 32, um, top height out at 34, which is around where my six iron normally sits. Ball speed at 120. Spinning at 5.8, which I like, so I'm getting a decent, nearly 6,000 spin, which is what I want from my six iron, really. I know I'm gonna get it to stop the other end. Um, if I look at the groups of strikes on those clubs, they were all pretty centered for me, slightly out towards the toe. But I think the perimeter weighting, there's, a, there's enough there to help me. The ball speed drop-offs, as you can probably see there, if we go into the ball speed, are really not that, um, it's not dropping off one mile an hour. There's one at 115, which I obviously miss hit um, down there, the second one. Interesting numbers, interesting club. I think it's a club that hasn't particularly changed massively over its predecessor. I think the 431, I think it is steel ping, obviously very excited about. Obviously their engineers and their tech guys obviously often get more excited about what they can do than maybe you will always feel in a set of clubs. But as always, a very good, reliable, kind of does what it's meant to do iron, which is exactly what you'd expect from a company like Ping. Post comments down below. Is this one you'll try or not? Let me know. Do you love Ping or hate? I'd love to hear. Post comments as always. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my YouTube channel for loads more videos. Find me on Instagram at CrossfieldMark. Also on Twitter at 4GolfOnline. Find me on Facebook, Mark Crossfield. Thanks for watching. Post comments as always and see you soon.